Right then viewers, there's no being around the bush. Today is a massive day because we have two really difficult games back to back. The World Super League keeps throwing at us all of these amazing fixtures, but of course it would. It's the World Super League. It's the best league in the world with the best teams in the world. And we are finally in and amongst them. Yes, viewers, welcome back to another episode of the World Rotter Domination here with Feyenoord. I am dressed in my Feyenoord jersey, ready for this double header because we have the two teams here that you can see. PSG first up and then we play Chelsea. So two massive games, very important games in our season. And I did say I'll come back to the PSG game. Let's have a look at the fixtures in between them. Now, of course, in the last game, we beat Atletico Madrid 1-0 after beating Hertha Berlin 3-0. Since then, we have still been unbeaten. It's been a great time for us, to be honest. We beat, well, actually, we drew against Stad Renz. We were going to beat them in the 93rd minute, and then they scored in the 95th. That's unfortunate. Getting a little bit of payback there, Stad Renz, but it's all good. We're still ahead of them in the Champions Cup group. Then, Arsenal, a London game. Lazaro decided to turn on. He scored a hat-trick, a 4-1 victory with Sardella, also getting on the score sheet as well. Gremio in the FA Cup. We played a slightly rotated side, but not too much in their unbelievable stadium, by the way. Gorgeous to look at. Uh, and I like Gremio's kits as well. So that's another positive, I guess. But uh, Jamilu Aliu scored in the 118th minute a golden goal goal to put us through in the World FA Cup. We keep going in that trophy too, which we're expected to reach the semi-final. Uh, so all the competitions were expected big things. Don't know what happened here. Not a clue why this game hasn't happened in between. But still, we went back to back against Brazilian sides and we travelled back and forth, which... Why? Why did we do that? I suppose it was across a whole week. We could have spent the week in Brazil. I would have enjoyed it. Uh, going along the beaches, who knows? Maybe re uh, visit the, the Amazon. I don't know. But Flamengo, we beat them 6-1. We made it a lot easier job uh, than we did Gremio. In another cup competition as well, the Champions Cup, 6-1. Lazaro again with a couple of goals. Johan Boskamp with a couple of goals as well. Albzi and Kyle George. Now, in the last episode, if you remember rightly, I did mention about that player for Atletico Madrid. Should we sign him or should we not? £30 million. Um, okay. We went for it, viewers. We bloody went for it. All of you seemed in favour of buying him, even if we had no intentions of using him just yet. Maybe, and a lot of people said this, to get rid of Kyle George. And I kind of agree with what you're saying here. Although he is been one of our top scorers, Long-term plans, it doesn't look like he's getting much better. We don't know what Kyle George's potential is on the save game file. But this man, he still has a lot to go. And he's already at 141 current ability. And he's just turned, just this month, turned 18. So the fact that he's playing first-team football for Atletico Madrid, I made the decision um, that they seem quite capable of raising this player for the rest of the season. So we ordered a transfer to happen at the end of the season. We're not, we're not rushing it. He's going to come to us. Even if he doesn't play another game, getting this guy at 18 looking like this, I'm happy with it. £30 million. We had money in the bank, of course, from our uh, escapades in the transfer window. We have loads of money sitting around, so it doesn't make, matter too much financially. But still, I, I, I still think we could make a lot of money on this player in the future if we... Uh, if we decide to sell him going forward, we definitely make a profit. There's no way I'd accept 30 million for this man. Unbelievable stuff. So we went and bit the bullet with this guy. But we do have a couple of injuries going into this match. Mark Fairhurst is out. Seth Warmer is out. And Fiona is still out for two to three weeks as well. Uh, so this is the lineup that we are looking at for today's game. Kleber in goal with Aliu and Kraus at centre back. Sardella and Bakker. On the win backs, deep line playmaker, of course, is Kana, who has now fixed a very good relationship with all three of the midfielders in front of him. Locatelli, Hans Salin, and Johan Boskamp. And we have the two Brazilians up front. Albzi on the bench. We have uh, Ospinov on the bench as well, a player that we brought in at the end of the last season, the transfer window. We've got men in abundance who can fill roles in this team. And that's what I like, a lot of depth. But this is a PSG side, and it's a, it's a good one, isn't it? Thiago Almeida... Mbappe, Neymar, Dybala up top, Barella. It's one of those teams, they haven't lost any of their big players and they just keep 
filling in with better ones, to be honest. Um, a couple of the players that I did see that were playing recently, Reese James was playing centre midfield. And in my scout report, I seen that and I thought, if he is playing centre midfield, I'm going to target him. But he isn't. So I'm, I'm not going to target him. I, that's, I'm just telling you what my thoughts are and what you should be looking at, things like that. If you see Reese James, a player who isn't normally a centre midfielder, playing in a position like centre midfield, target him. Use the opposition instructions to your advantage, viewers, because they can help a lot. Uh, but unfortunately for me, they're not playing him. So never mind. Let's actually have a look at the opposition instructions and see what my assistant is doing. So they've got a couple of Thiago Almeida and Neymar uh, pressing them intensely. I actually want to press the back four. I want to press this back four. I want to, I want to make sure PSG don't get all the time and space that they want on the back four. Let's, let's go and ham at them and... Uh, and ruffle a few feathers, viewers. That's what we want to do. We are currently sat in 7th place, by the way. I haven't shown you that yet. Bayern Munich and Arsenal either side of us. PSG just ahead of us in 5th place. Barcelona, Liverpool, Lazio, Man United. What a lineup it is at the top there. Sardella. It is a throw-in back and forth with Kyle George. Plays out to Marco Cana. Back to Sardella. 15 minutes in. Simon Backer. It's unlucky. It's a good opportunity for us. And we've been dominant. Three shots to their zero. Another opportunity, Johan Boskamp whips in a free kick. It's a lovely one. And Aliyu has done it yet again. The guy cannot stop scoring recently from centre-back. Remember, we picked him up from Porto. He was a very good acquisition, I think, because he has scored a few goals. And he's been solid at the back, viewers. He's replaced Armini in this first eleven, And I think he's improved our side vastly recently since he has come in. So a great header from him. Keylor Navas in no man's land. That's what we like to see. Another attempt here. Johan Boskamp with another fantastic free kick. That's what we like. We've got, we're very good at set pieces here. Sardella, do not lose it. You've got men there to help you. And he's done ever so well. Find a player now. And we're laughing. Locatelli. Locatelli makes it two viewers. And it's only 25 minutes gone. And they still haven't had an opportunity yet on our goal. This is great stuff. This is what we like to see. Sardella skipping past a tackle like it didn't even happen. As if the player wasn't even there. He whips a lovely ball in. And Locatelli, number 73, knocks the header in. In the near post. Back where it came from. That's what my dad always taught me. Head it back where it came from, Luke. All right. Didn't happen when I headed it back out for a throw-in. That's not what he meant. Into the net, viewers. That's what we mean. Back where it came from. If it comes across that way, head it that way. All right? Don't try and flick it. Because nine times out of ten, you'll miss it. Anyway, back to the game. We do have another opportunity very early on. Navas is playing around with it. Barella. Look how much we're pressing them, viewers. Neymar now. There's their danger. Mbappe. This could be their first opportunity on the goal. Be gutting if they actually score from it. Mbappe pulls it back. Dybala. Out to Ricardo Pereira, a very capable right back. Pulls it back, Mbappe, Dybala, it's a cracking block. That's not even, it's going to count as a shot and there's a clear cut chance and it didn't even get anywhere near our goal. That's what I like about our defence right now. They put their body on the line. Mbappe picked it up again. Lucas Torria ending the highlight. That's what we like to see. Good stuff. Three points behind top now. Great, ideal. Throw in then on the right-hand side. Real Madrid 2-1 up against Liverpool. And Lazaro makes it 3-0 against PSG. Are my eyes deceiving me? It is 3-0. We are, we are doing exceptionally well, viewers. It did, it did say there, the extra effort in attacking set pieces has paid off. And I tell you why. Snook and his training regime, I've been doing it. And I set this up as a big game. And do you know what happened all the, all the calendar week? They practice set pieces. And how much has that paid off? Because we've had about four opportunities, viewers. We've scored two from set pieces already. And now we are, we are, we're we we're 3-0 up. And I will show you after the game the calendar and show you exactly what I did here. Because I'm, we're going to make a video on it at some point. We're just ironing out things on how to do it, etc. But it seems to be working, viewers. Put this as a big game. And it's, it's working. Marquinhos... Heads it over the bar. Alou did enough there. It's still 3-0 to us. Well, it is about time for some substitutes. Johan Boskamp is kind of tired. But Keith McCadlin, McCallidin, McCallinden. Please, someone sponsor this player because I can't pronounce his name. Anyway, he's 21 and he is very much capable of coming in in that same kind of role. 
uh, Azmazala on attack. We are training him to do so, and he's very capable of doing that. So we're happy to bring him on. We're not losing any quality on the pitch. Killian Sardella and Kelvin as well. That's to me as a straight swap. And let's change out one of the uh, strikers. Kyle George comes off. Albsy comes on. Bit of a point to prove, Albsy. He scored a couple, but not too many. One goal in 11 games, albeit three of them uh, have only been starts. But he still has a point to prove. I want to see some goals from him. He's got another half an hour here to get one and really stamp our authority on this World Super League. We'll be up there pressing for the title. It's only one way to find out, and that is get to the end of it. We have another opportunity, and oh, this could be dangerous, though, viewers. Dybala now running at our defenders. We need to stop him. Don't let him run through the middle. He's trying going around. He's managed to... Well, that's weak, isn't it? Kleber is laughing at that. Back over the free, over the throw inside. Locatelli plays it to Hans Salin. Lots of time and space for him. He didn't quite get it out of his feet quick enough. But there's a ball out to Kelvin. He's picked up a knot, but he's still good. Albsy pulls it back. Kelvin does well. Hans Salin. Oh, it's off the bar. Hans Salin, who had the original opportunity, cannot quite find the net. Another free kick. Another attacking free kick. And Aliyu has scored yet again. Viewers, how much do you want this training regime? Because it's available for free on the Discord. That's all I'm saying. Join the Discord. Link down in the description if you haven't done so already. Or if you're already in it. There's a little, there's a little area. Hashtag training regime or something like that. Or training. And you can download it. It's free. It's even got instructions on how to install it. It's got so many different things if you want to train attacking, defending, pre-season stuff. It's got everything. Lazaro's now through. Oh, he should have made that five. Should have made that five. But what a game this is, viewers. 4-0 against a PSG side. 4-0. However, Berlin beat Arsenal as well. That's a great result. Look at this. Brighton, Eric Riera scoring. Wow. I, I said it would bite us on the ass, Eric Riera, but... That's actually doing us favours, beating other teams with them. Okay, we have Chelsea. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all these amazing training stuff that we're going to be doing. Let's have a look at how we have actually been going uh, on the calendar this week. So I did say I put it as a big game. No, I didn't. I didn't. I changed it from a big game. I've had to change it for a big game because of that game. But I will show you because we have played a couple of big games coming up as well, actually. Big match, Real Madrid. There we go. Attacking free kicks, attacking corners, defending free kicks, defending corners. This is what we're on about, viewers. Each time I'm changing it just ever so slightly. General training for there. There's two games here, so I put it as two games, and it gives you some nice resting points and everything like that, so players aren't exactly terribly exhausted when they go into that second game. It's all well and good, viewers, uh, letting the assistant do it, but this generally took me about five minutes five minutes to go through about five or six months and then every time you just see an updated fixture you just change it it's so quick to do so easy to do i'll show you exactly what i mean uh general training i've been setting all this up big match again there i've gone through here's the last one that i haven't done or well, the first one that i haven't done uh so we have wolves that day so to me general training that's all i need bang done it for you don't have to do anything else this is exactly what i mean viewers when it comes up we have another fixture now integrated into this one where we had general training it comes up on your calendar olympiacos has now been integrated into this week so we need to change it from general training to two games once he changes to two games it gives us a little bit more rest time uh, adds a match preview adds a match review some rest periods around it it's all good and then your players won't be too uh knackered after the game you can even change it around a little bit sometimes i change this team bonding one just to rest if there is it's too close because just two days in between can be a bit bad sometimes maybe if it's on a tuesday the first game's on a tuesday or the second game's on a sunday depending on what league you're in that can always uh, be arranged that you don't have to change much uh, but sometimes i just like to change that one too much i'd rather my players be fully fit rather than dossing around with each other going bowling or something i don't know Right, viewers, we're back for the Chelsea game. They obviously didn't do very well in their last game. They have dropped down to 11th. Well, Warriors, we have skied up into fourth place. Remember, just three points off top. That's how well we're actually doing, all things considered. Uh, there has been a few little changes because Michael Canner is suspended for this game. We haven't got any players back. So Keith, who we featured in the last episode, in the last match, sorry, he came off the bench. He starts this time round, so we're going to see what he is really about. Locatelli dropping back into the deep line playmaker role. 
other than that viewers no change needed everyone else played absolutely fantastic the goals everything that was great uh, maybe Alzi actually picked up an injury halfway through uh, the, the in-between matches so we need to be aware of that but look how good this Chelsea side actually is I don't know who this is Vlahovic I've never heard of him although he's 63 million pound he's worth um, I can't say I've ever heard of him he plays for Fiorentina at the start of the game have you ever used him because I haven't still uh, Hassam Awa or Al Ua, I don't really know. Marcus Rashford, Florentino Luis, and Kamavinga. Those are the two centre midfielders that everyone looks to try and buy at the start of this game. Nathan Ake, of course, just made his move to Manchester City in real life. Lissandro Martinez, a very good player. Taglafico is their captain. So some good right back and left back. Sandro Tonali is on the bench. So not only have they got Luis, Kamavinga, they've got Sandro Tonali, and they've got Jerry. So two of our former players. Both sitting on their bench. I bet they wish they never left. Zaniolo also plays for them. I'm fully aware of how good he is too. Um, let's hand over to our assistant. who seems to have done very well yet again. Nascimento. Well done, Luis Nascimento. And we start off with a corner ball. Back is going to whip it in. Kyle George is there. Keith. Keith. Keith's done it. Viewers, Keith's done it. Why aren't you sponsoring this player yet? People on the $15 tier or higher if you haven't picked a player yet. Northern Irish. Keith McCallenden, very good player. And he's done very well there, to be fair. Bang. Knocked it in. It's 1-0. Very early doors. That's what we like to see. We have the ball again. Look how high they are pressing, viewers, but look how deep their defense is. There is a gap in that midfield. We might look to exploit that at some point. Maybe we put some... Oh, wow. Clever. Great save. Maybe we put someone in that cam roll. Pick up that ball. That could be an option, viewers, because they have left a big gap there. Our brings it in. Florentino Luis hits it. It looks like it hits their own player. Locatelli clears it. On the attack now. Gabriel Elias Kraus. Don't know why you are taking throw-ins, my friend. But we need to look at that. Cut the ball, though. Fair enough. He's got loads of time and space. No one wants to challenge in there. Sardella. What a ball that is to him. Sardella. Oh, Kepa. At the near post. Makes a save. We are just six minutes in. There have been abundance opportunities already. We got three on three on target. Backer whips it in. Kyle George cannot quite get there. Johan Boskamp to Locatelli. Whips it back out to Backer. Fair play. Cannot get in the opportunity though. Rashford running at our defence from that corner. Loses it. Clears it out. Lazaro is going to get there. Oh, what a tackle that is by Nathan Ake. Lazaro was in with just the goalkeeper to beat. And he they wrestled with each other all the way. And fair play, Nathan Ake. Fantastic tackle. Throw in again. 11 minutes gone. Keith's headed it back to Backer. Locatelli. One twos again. Backer. Sprays it out. Johan Boskamp. Take a touch. Have a pop. Oh, Martinez has tackled. He should have hit that earlier. He's got a second opportunity. Kyle George puts it in in the rebound because the, the original shot from Boskamp got blocked. Kyle George. It fell to him lovely. It, they've given it as an assist. That's, that's generous. That is generous. But we'll take it. Johan Boskamp. He had two bits of the cherry there. Two bites of the apple, if you will. And yet Kyle George smashes it in. We're 2-0 up, viewers. This is great. Let's praise the boys. Throw in there. We need to defend this time round. Locatelli loses out to Auer. Tag Lafico. Back to Luis. The pressing's good. Camavinga, though, has been found. Comes back on that left-hand side for them. Boss Camp now picks up a loose ball. Sends Kyle George down the wing. He's going to get there. He's got two men with him, though. What can he do? He's cut inside of one. He's gone on the outside of the other. He plays the ball across, and Simon Becker has an open goal at the back post. To be honest, it's a fantastic goal from us. It's counter-attacking at its finest. We managed to dispossess him of the ball in our half. Deep into our half, and look how what we've done with it. Kyle George skips past two players, creates an opportunity to cross the ball, and Simon Becker has an empty net just to head it in. It's great stuff. I really like how our fullbacks do really get involved in the game. Remember, the, the, the tactic itself is actually available to download on the Discord as well. So people who have asked in the past, uh, it is there on the downloadable tactics part of the Super League. Florentino to Hakimi. 35 minutes gone. Can we demand a bit more? I've just done that already. That's fair enough. Keith, great tackle. Goal score of the first goal. Backer, goal score of the third goal. Keith again. Plays out to Boss Camp. Loses out. It's a wasteful pass. Neto, he's setting Kamavinga. Kamavinga to Vlahovic. 
And Kleber, once again, has made a cracking save. It's two games in a row now where we've seen Kleber at his best. Neto plays it in. It's ricocheting everywhere, and it's played out. Lazaro, well, that's going to be the end of the highlight, though. Well, half-time, 3-0 up. We can honestly say that so far, we've been absolutely outstanding in this episode. We haven't put a foot wrong yet. But there's still another 45 minutes to go. As we've seen from the, from the, uh, the World Super League, a lot can happen in 45 minutes. These are the best teams in the world. They have the best attacks. They have the best defences. It only takes some kind of little tweaking and things go wrong. But we are still sat three points behind top. We're just keeping the pressure on. Kleber now. 63rd minute gone. I'd like to think we've wrapped it up. But crazier things have happened, viewers. Han Salin. Out to Simon Backer. Go now would be lovely. Lazaro. It's a good save from Kepa. It's a very good opportunity from us. Hertha Berlin are beating PSG again. PSG are on a bad run now. Uh, Keith McCadlin. McCa I, I will never get that name right. Lazaro. No, unlucky. Three substitutions made. Kelvin, James Murphy and Albsy all coming onto the pitch now. See if they can make a difference with the last 20 minutes of the game to go. Keith has a free kick. He can really stamp his authority on this. What a goal that is, Keith. Unbelievable stuff. The trouble is he's stepping in for Michael Kana who plays in a different position because we've moved things around. So it's not like he's taken Locatelli's position. But he's done absolutely outstanding in the role. Two goals there for him. He's on a 9.1 average rating as well. He's come in. He's stamped his authority. You can't deny it. He's done very well. Oh, viewers, we've just beaten Chelsea 4-0. It's that back-to-back 4-0s because that is absolutely fantastic. We are finally finding our groove now in the World Super League. We're up there. We're up there challenging for the title. We're still in fourth. Still in fourth. You win 4-0 you win back to back and you got to third place. We got to third. Good. What happened there then? That was Lazio maybe who dropped off Manchester City 3-1. In Manchester City who are in the relegation zone. That's probably because they lost Marco Kana. I reckon that's the reason. Anyway viewers, thank you very much for watching this video. How do you think our chances are going to be when we are roughly getting towards the halfway point of the season so far? So let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. Please remember to leave a like on the video if you can. That would be fantastic. And if you haven't subscribed already, which there are still a small portion of you watching every single episode of the World Rotter Domination series who haven't yet subscribed. If that is you, please consider subscribing. It's only going to get better from here. Of course, the player spotlights as well are available on Wednesdays and Saturdays. You guys smashed it last week, so let's hope you have two weeks, uh, two episodes this week as well to enjoy. Remember, it is the new version of the player spotlight as well, where we send them off to different clubs and we follow their career uh, throughout. So that should be a lot more interesting when they're just stuck at one club. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I'm still going to do it left-handed. Arms, arms buggered. You, you know about it later. Bye-bye. Well, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there's another one below that I have picked for you to have a look at. Also, if you'd like to sponsor me as a content creator by pledging to my Patreon page, you can do just that by following the link below and be like one of these wonderful people. Thank you.